Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to talk about vacuum command in Delta Lake development. In my previous video, I have explained about optimize command in Delta Lake development. Optimize command is mainly used to combine smaller sized files to optimal size. While developing Delta Lake, normally we used to create thousands of or millions of smaller sized files that is going to hit the performance because the system has to maintain huge amount of metadata. So as a result, it will hit the performance. So in order to avoid that, it's recommended to maintain optimal size to file in Delta Lake. So that is the reason we used optimize command. So by default, optimize command will combine smaller size to files to 1 GB size. 1 GB is the default size for optimize command. Optimizes command is good to combine the smaller size to files, but at the same time, while performing optimize or you know while performing delete or update command, the Delta Lake engine will not remove the older files. Let's say we are we are deleting uh, data from one file, which means that file is not needed anymore for Delta table. But at the same time, it is not going to be removed immediately. Instead, it would be uh, it the new version of the data file will be created in the same location. But at the same time, it is going to maintain the old version of the file also. Using this older version of the files, you know, we can perform the time travel in Delta Lake. But at the same time, over the time, you know, over uh, over years, you know, we are not going to clean up the data. You know, it's going to pile pile up huge amount of data. So that is not good from uh, maintenance perspective and also storage perspective. So we have to clean up the data periodically. So for that, we can go with vacuum command. So in this demo, I'm going to explain the usage of vacuum command. As I told earlier, vacuum command is mainly used to clean up the absolute files, which are not part of the latest version of the Delta Lake. So I can give example, then I can start explaining through demo. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster is up and running. So I'm going to use the same notebook which I used for my previous video optimize. In case you haven't watched my previous video, I highly recommend to watch that. So in, my, in our previous video, basically we have created one table SCD2 demo at the location file store tables SCD2 demo. Then later we inserted three records into the file. You know, these three insert statements all are you know independent to each other separate uh, transaction as a result you know each, each insert statement is going to create one smaller size file within delta lake table at this location later i'm going to add three more insert statements which means it is going to create three more files so each file will contain one record starting from that uh, primary key triple one triple two triple three then after that it is going to triple six triple seven triple eight then now in the system in uh, within my delta lake folder i am going to have six uh, smaller size to files now i am going to delete one of the data which means you know, the file that got created for this triple seven the entire file uh, will be marked as obsolete and at the same time it is going to create uh, it's it's going to be uh, here we are not performing update so it's simply the delta lock will mark this file as absolute so the latest version of the delta lake is not going to refer this file anymore so we had uh, five uh, six files out of that one is marked as absolute and next i'm going to perform update operation for triple six so what happens is you know already one file got created for triple six now we are making update then what happens internally is you know this particular file will be marked as invalid by a uh, delta lock then a new version uh, a new version of the data new version of the file will be created under that location which means now we are going to add one more file in the system. There would be seven files. Out of seven files, these two previous version of these two files will be marked as inactive. So we are going to have five latest version of the uh, um, files. So whenever we are uh, selecting the data from Delta Lake, only those latest five uh, version files will be considered for the output. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform, you know, optimize command for this table. So what it will do is, you know, it will take the latest active files, which means in this case, you know, we are going to have five uh, active files. It is going to combine those files 
into one. Because in my case, now I'm going to I am going to have very smaller sized files, maybe you know in a few KBs. So even after combining uh, those five files, it will not come to one GB. It will not exceed. So that's the reason it is going to create only one file in my case. So what happens is now already there is uh, you know there are two files marked inactive. Now what will happen is those act active five files will be combined into one so it will be cre uh, creating new file one more file but at the same time it will mark the previous five active uh, files as invalid so in our system we are going to have six seven invalid files now only one active file i hope you understood so uh, i am going to give a pictorial representation you know of these operations for your uh, simpler understanding so here first what I have done is now I have inserted one uh, record triple one okay for key triple one here you can see triple one so it has created one data file let us assume so again I am inserting triple two it's going to create one more data file I am inserting triple three it is going to add one more file later three more files I am adding and three more insert statements for triple six it's going to create one more file triple seven it is going to create one more file same for triple eight which means I am going to have six file in my system then later I am going to delete triple seven which means this particular uh, file will be deleted it's not uh, part of latest um, delta version so in the uh, next operation I'm going to perform update for triple six which means it's going to create new version of triple six at the same time it is going to make invalid of the previous version so in our case now what happens is you know we are having uh, three here you know three active and this one four active and the latest version of a triple six so there are five active versions okay here one two three four and this one five now I'm going to perform optimize so basically optimize will uh, take the latest version active files and it will combine into one single file but at the same time it will uh, make the previous versions inactive so all the previous versions will be made inactive currently we are having only one active record only one sorry only active file that will be refer referred by delta lake table so whenever we are performing select start from delta table only this file will be referred i hope you understood the optimize now what happens is in our system you know we have produced you know these many invalid files so over the time you know this is one of the simple example but in real time scenario over the time we are going to produce thousands of or millions of invalid files so it's you know we need to clean up those files periodically so for that we can go with vacuum command so um, here you can see you know this is the delta table location here as i explained in the diagram you know uh, here it has produced uh, eight files out of those eight files only one is the latest one that is the optimized version so delta engine is going to refer only that file okay remaining seven files these are invalid files so we can clean up coming back to the notebook now uh, I'm going to show you uh, show the uh, history of uh, you know the operations that we performed on this table so for that I'm using describe history then the table so here you can see you now these are the series of operations we have performed initially we have created the table then on top of that we have perform, performed six right six insert statements after that we have deleted then we performed one update statement then um, we have optimized okay these are the different operations we have performed now I'm going to see the data here now we have removed we have deleted the triple seven pk1 triple seven that's the reason we could not see for triple six you know we are uh, we are seeing the latest version which means updated version of a triple six data so this is the output now i want to perform you know uh, uh, vacuum i have to clean up so for that what i can do is you know first i want to see the list down the files you know that are uh, created under this location a cd to demo here we can see nine rows out of that one is for delta log and uh, apart from that you know there are eight files out of those eight files only one is active file all others are inactive so i have uh, performed you know these operations around you know 10 days back by default for vacuum command you know the default retain duration is seven days which means 168 hours so if the file you know if any of the file is um, uh, invalidated you know seven days before then only those files will be considered 
So in order to delete, in order to clean up any data, data file from a Delta folder, you know, there are two conditions. One is, you know, the, uh, that particular data file should not be part of latest version of Delta, Delta Lake, Delta table. That is number one. Second, you know, that uh, particular file should have been invalidated at least, you know, seven days before by default. But, you know, this uh, seven days uh, value, it is configurable. We can change it. So, here what I'm going to do is, you know, first version I'm going to show you try run, which means, you know, it is not going to clean up the file immediately. Instead of that, it is going to list down, you know, which are the files uh, will be uh, deleted as part of this vacuum operation. So that is, uh, uh, you know, for that purpose, we can use dry run. I highly recommend to use this one before deleting anything because, you know, we have to make sure we are not going to delete any other important file. So for that, first we can... Uh, quickly review what are the files it will delete so for that we can use dry run so here i'm not giving any time duration by default it is going to be 168 hours which is seven days so let me um, run this dry run see here there are seven rows which means you know there are seven files will be deleted as i have explained earlier you now the latest version of the delta table is referring only one optimized file which means seven files are invalid so it will remove seven uh, files and those seven files actually you know it uh, it has been validated uh, before seven days because i created i executed optimized command 10 days back that's the reason so uh, this is uh, how you know this uh, dry command will work and it will list down all the files and if i have to uh, perform the vacuum then I simply i can remove try run so directly i can execute vacuum then the table name that is the syntax i hope you understood and coming to the other version you know uh, we can change this uh, parameter by default it is going to be 168 hours you know but it, this is highly configurable for example you know i'm going to give a condition of 30 days okay 720 uh, hours 30 days which means i'm going to tell you know uh, i'm going to clean up the only the files which are not part of latest version at the same time they are invalidated 30 days before but actually you know i have uh, made uh, these files invalidated just 10 days before that's the reason it is not going to return anything i'm going to show this example let me execute yes see here we could not see any output because we don't have any files you know which are uh, uh, you know which are invalidated 30 days before so that's the reason so and also we can give even zero hours which means you know uh, uh, starting from this minute you know if we have any invalid or absolute file that should be removed so we can give zero also but the thing is you know uh, by mistake someone should not delete you know, because it is going to create problem later so if someone is going to delete any production data by mistake it's we cannot recover so for that reason you know vacuum is uh, you know by default it won't allow you to retain zero hours so let me give zero hours then we can see the error message see here it is exception and it is also telling are you sure you would like to vacuum files with such a low retention period so you know it is recommending you know please use a value not less than 168 hours which is seven days but still you know we have decided to use uh, zero hours you know we are uh, you know we are very clear on that part then we can go you know by enabling this uh, parameter so now i am going to set this parameter so set this uh, value false let me execute this one then after that, I'm going to execute this command. This time, it will not throw error, any error. But at the same time, it will give all the invalid files, you know, starting from this moment. So which means in my system, I'm having only seven files, even if we're going to start from this moment. Let me execute. See here, we don't have any error message this time. Yeah, it is listing down those seven files, which can be cleaned up. I hope you understood the importance of, uh, you know, the try run and retain a specific number of hours. I hope you understood the syntax. Now, finally, I am going to execute vacuum command. So it will physically clean up the data. So for that, I'm not going to use any other uh, parameters. Simply, I'm going to give vacuum SED to demo. So it is going to remove uh, any absolute file which are older than seven days. So let me execute this step. The execution is completed and it is uh, you know it has uh, written the success message now let me go back to the location and list down the files available under that location ls command i'm using under this folder let me execute now you can see only the delta lake folder plus only one 
parquet file, delta file, which means that the optimized version. So now we have cleaned up all our previously invalidated files. So this is uh, how we can perform, uh, you know, vacuum operation in Delta Lake. This is very important from maintenance perspective and also storage um, uh, perspective. I hope you understood the concept. Hope you enjoyed the video also. If you like the content of this video, please uh, like, sub subscribe and comment this video in the YouTube channel and also click on the bell button. Thank you.